A 58-year-old male patient presented with palpitations. He is connected to a defibrillator monitor on arrival to the emergency department. His vital signs were as follows, blood pressure 110 over 70 mm mercury, respiratory rate 18 breaths per minute, and oxygen saturation 99%. The patient denied fever, shortness of breath, or chest pain. Name the rhythm. How will you treat this patient? The patient has stable ventricular tachycardia, VT. A meodoron 150 mg intravenously is being administered to treat the VT. The usual dose of a meodoron for VT is 150 mg intravenously over 10 minutes. The patient is experiencing shortness of breath and pallor after receiving a meodoron. His pulse rate is 170 beats per minute and his blood pressure is 70 over 40 mm mercury. Name the rhythm. How will you treat this patient? The patient has unstable VT, which is a serious arrhythmia that can lead to sudden cardiac death. Synchronized cardioversion is indicated to restore a normal heart rhythm. The initial energy level for synchronized cardioversion of unstable VT is typically 100 joules. After synchronized cardioversion with 100 joules, the patient is experiencing chest discomfort, his pulse rate is 52 beats per minute, and his blood pressure is 80 over 50 mm mercury. Name the rhythm. How will you treat this patient? The patient has symptomatic second-degree Mobitz type 2 AV block. The patient can be treated with dopamine or epinephrine infusion or transcutaneous pacing. TCP. A cardiologist should be consulted for evaluation of pacemaker insertion. The patient has suddenly lost consciousness and has no palpable pulse. Name the rhythm. How will you treat this patient? The ECG strip shows ventricular fibrillation, VF. VF is a life-threatening arrhythmia that requires immediate defibrillation. Ensure that the defibrillator is charged to the appropriate energy level, typically 200 joules for adults. Do not delay defibrillation. Defibrillation is the only effective treatment for VF. The patient remains pulseless and unconscious after defibrillation with 200 joules. ECG monitor shows that the patient is still in VF. How will you treat this patient? Start high-quality CPR for 2 minutes and push epinephrine 1 mg intravenously every 3 to 5 minutes. Continue CPR and defibrillation attempts until ROSC is achieved. ROSC stands for Return of Spontaneous Circulation. The patient has regained a pulse after defibrillation with 200 joules. His vital signs are as follows. GCSE3M6V4, BP140 over 100 mm mercury, pulse rate 68 beats per minute, and respiratory rate 22 breaths per minute. How will you treat this patient?
The patient has experienced a life-threatening arrhythmia and requires close monitoring. The patient should receive a maintenance dose of a meodoron infusion and should be admitted to the intensive care unit. A cardiologist should be consulted to evaluate the patient and determine the underlying cause of the arrhythmia. The cardiologist may recommend pacemaker insertion if the patient is at high risk of developing further arrhythmias. An acute coronary syndrome workup should be performed to rule out a heart attack as the cause of the arrhythmia. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.